Hey guys, what's up? Okay, I'm going to, by the way, I have my little AC unit on for Roxy because she gets very overheated, as you know. So I'm going to do a quick reading for you guys. I hope you're doing great and enjoying your weekend thus far. Let's see what Spirit has for y'all. Oh, the devil coming right out. Capricorn. Okay, so we want to address this. Okay, somebody could be in this energy, in this in this very shadow energy as well, feeling some level of oh obsession here. Maybe this is something that you're seeing or you're going to find out. I feel like somebody here could be obsessed with something that has to do with your success or your happiness in a sense. Yeah, I think somebody could be watching you, to be honest with you. This could be something about your achievement or something that you're getting, something about your good fortune here. We have Capricorn and Leo energy that somebody is very heavily focused on. This is interesting because I'm seeing this person is like looking at some kind of document or map or something like that. I also see that they're burning something here. There could be some kind of ritual going on. I'm not sure what that's about so far, but I do feel like somebody here seems to be highly focused on something good that you have going on in your life. They're trying to see it as well. Maybe that's what the candle's about, right? They're trying to see it or shed some light on it or bring it to light in some way. I feel like trying to see clearly. All right, weirdo. Let's see. What else? Yeah, look at this. Okay, more Capricorn energy here. What? Listen to that. Okay, something. I feel like you're successfully doing something and it's pretty well hidden from other people. Okay, I don't know if you're doing it behind the scenes or you're doing that in a deliberate, um, yeah, in a deliberate way to kind of keep something hidden here. But something is going on, and I think you're right, honestly, to do that. You're playing your clo uh, you're playing your cards very close to your chest here. I feel like somebody is really trying to find out what that is about here. Somebody could also think that you have had some kind of difficulties or, or they've created some kind of blockages. Maybe they're trying to see if that's what it's about, especially looking at this card if you look at that. I mean, there's some hocus pocus shit going on here for sure, right? So maybe they're just trying to see if something that they've done has worked here. I don't think so. <laughs> I definitely don't think so. Aries uh, energy. This could be somebody that's actually at a distance from you, even in a foreign country, something along those lines. But this shows me forward movement, most importantly, on your part. So there's something here somebody's tripping on because they feel like they can't really see what is happening with you, but they know that there's some kind of good fortune, some kind of success, I feel like, that is going on in your particular life at this particular time, right? Uh, okay, so I'm going to ask how they know then. I'd like to actually, let me get some of these. I want to know more about this. I'm going to look at True Emotional and see if I can delve into this a bit more. No strings. This could be somebody here who you had no strings attached with. And you're actually seeing. Maybe you saw this person's true colors. Okay, maybe you don't really deal with this these, this person either. Maybe you saw their true colors. So no strings. Maybe you guys had like a fling or something along those lines. Um, yeah, and you decided to get away with it. So why, Oh, wow. So why are they creating the obstacles in your life? That card actually says twin flames. I don't know if it is an actual twin flame here. So it could be somebody who feels some sense of romance regarding you, okay, that feels that you're running from them, okay? You're running from them. They also see that you're single here, happily single here, stress-free, uh, setting goals. Maybe you're more career-focused at this particular time. This could be a Jezebel energy trying to, trying to lock you down a little bit or get you back. Maybe they feel a bit rejected too. I also feel like some of you guys did. You actually moved away from this person. There could have been some forward movement where you actually got away from it and did not say anything. Maybe you just moved away. I think somebody, listen, look what the blockages is. Somebody here has been trying to slow down this. Now, they could be slowing down a twin flame connection from coming together. Okay, or this could be your twin, I suppose. I don't really, uh, from what I know about twin flames, I'm sorry, I'm pretty much a novice in that area, actually. But I don't see that they would be trying to harm you or hurt you in some way. Not a true twin flame. But if, you know, if that is the case, I'm just going to read the energy of the cards here. It looks to me like somebody here is trying to create some kind of obstacles. Blockages, maybe, from you moving or moving away in some way. Hmm, okay. 
What else, Spirit? Oh, I know one flipped. Hang on. Oh, there it is right there. Is that it? Freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Freedom. Surrender. So you've surrendered something here. You've gotten some kind of freedom. You've obviously gotten out of a situation. Now, this could be financial freedom as well. This could be freedom from a bad situation or a toxic situation or anything like that. Between the lines, looking for what's hidden. This person is trying to, so I don't know if maybe they're watching your post or they're listening to you or something, maybe reading through things, trying to see what's hidden. Um, maybe that's also the way that you figured some things out. But then why do I feel like somebody is like having some kind of eye-opening experience as well? I think you guys could have been in a very casual kind of situation, or maybe you are in a very casual kind of situation, but I think that somebody is out of it. Somebody's gained their freedom, okay, um, and has been able to surrender this situation, but somebody is obsessed with the fact, I hope I'm not talking to you, because somebody is obsessed with the fact that there could be a twin flame connection here that's kind of getting away. Look at that unhealthy attachment. That's what it, that's the that's the whole thing. Okay? This obsession is an unhealthy attachment here. All right? This could be look. They know that you're single and not in a relationship, but you're not choosing them for some reason. You're not coming towards them. This is a very Okay, this is coming through very palpable right now. Okay? So I feel like there's a lot of focus on this situation. This could be a divine masculine. All right, or maybe you're the divine masculine that they're focusing on and focusing on some kind of marriage here, having a sacred union. Somebody could have dropped the ball definitely in this situation because we are seeing true colors here. All right. It's almost like something has been highlighted here for somebody. All right. They can see that you are, I don't know, you have to be getting some kind of, you seem happy. It looks like you've had some kind of positive outcome in your life. You continue to move forward. If they are a twin or if you guys are mirroring this, maybe that's why the envy was coming up. But I don't think so. I felt like there were more people involved that were actually speaking on a person or... Yeah, speaking on a person or even... I feel like I have someone here... And this could be either of you guys. I feel like somebody here is understanding that they can't get ahead where they're at. I feel like that's causing that's causing them to really question a lot of things. That's what I get about it. I feel like I'm questioning a lot of things. But you also, you got to be careful about who you're trusting around you. Because there's something about information, the flow of information and how it's coming out and how people are using that. That has to do with some kind of envy. So if someone can see, aside from the twin flame here, okay, I feel like if someone here can see that you're getting ahead, that you're doing well, it's almost like they don't want to see that. So if you feel like this is a friend in your circle or someone in your circle that you would normally be able to trust, I'm just saying use your discernment on that because it's coming out for a reason. It was very strong in your meditation tonight. All right, Spirit, what else for the collective, please? immediately now hastily see something's happening something's about to happen okay somebody could be entering your life in a hasty manner you could be getting some kind of unknown success is really what i'm getting for some of you guys in a very hasty manner somebody could know that that's actually happening to you or about to happen to you i think you could have something some kind of opportunity or offered that is actually coming from afar now. Somebody could be returning to you. This is recalling, recalling memories. That's what I was saying about the wake-up call a minute ago. Somebody recalling memories. This is somebody that could be in a sad state. Look at them. Okay, they're kind of almost in a fetal position, honestly. Um, this person could be wanting to return, okay? Having some kind of memories about all this. Wanting to return actually quite rapidly. Very focused on you if you are the Divine Masculine or this is Divine Masculine focused on you, okay? For some kind of sacred union. They don't know why you're not giving them some kind of attention is what I'm getting. Maybe you used to do that. Maybe you used to be there for somebody, um, and, and honestly, I feel almost like this could be, I feel like I'm, I'm turning the tables on somebody. So maybe you used to be there in a manner where you were adoring someone or even chasing them to be honest with you, but this person was running, right? So perhaps you just changed your dynamic. You just stopped doing that and started focusing on yourself and someone, yeah, look at that focus here. Started focusing on yourself. Okay. 
I think somebody here is very serious about you, to be honest with you. And going back to the focus card, I feel like they're focused on you. Even this obsessive kind of nature about them where they're... they're there's almost like a, they're captivated in some sense. I don't think this person is necessarily out there seeing other people. I think they might be going through a bit of a tough time as well. But a lot of that is because they're having to recall a lot. Of, maybe they are recalling a lot of experiences that you've had together. Maybe even conversations. That might be being brought on too is what I'm getting by another situation or by something that they're going through. Yeah, look. Yeah, and they're trying to find, I feel like, information on you. This per, uh, Listen, this person also doesn't feel secure in their lives. Let's address that for a moment because this could definitely be the person uh, that I was picking up on that is having some kind of, I don't know, I feel like I'm having crisis at work for some reason. So maybe work is difficult or I do feel like I, I can't trust the people that are around me, that they don't have the best in, uh, the best. Yeah, I don't think they have my best interest at heart. So they're pretending to be friends or alliances is what I want to say. Alliances, like they have my back in some way, but that's just not the truth. If this is somebody that you're dealing with or if this is you, whoever this actually relates to, I feel you're right. Whoever that, I mean, this situation, that would be a correct assessment. Somebody, I think, has figured this out. And I think this is somebody generally that has put out to other people or tried to help other people in some way okay or try to be there for them because it does feel like a, an alliance kind of thing you know i'll be there for you i have your back something like that i don't know why i just heard watchers watching your six i would normally say watch your six you know make sure that you're aware of things but i heard watching your six so yeah looking out for another person i don't know why i use that term though but they don't feel like it's coming back. Also, I feel like somebody doesn't feel, again, like they're able to get ahead where they are. So this may very well be the person that is kind of focused on you and what you're doing. And maybe because you are expanding, you are getting ahead in some way. And perhaps they feel like they should be a part of that. Meanwhile, there could be a lot of obstacles in their life. Fake friends is what I'm getting. Fake yeah, frenemies in a sense that are around them. This person I also feel, again, wherever this stands for you, I feel like somebody here is, is quite talented. Okay, so this gossip in a sense or this, and I do feel like there's backbiting here for sure. Okay, so there is some gossip around this situation. They don't feel like they're getting the recognition that they deserve but other people are almost afraid of the recognition they're going to get. I, I'm definitely dealing with two different situations here for sure. Yeah. Yeah, somebody here is wanting to, is it, you know, they want the land to be fertile, okay? They want to grow something. They want to build a life is what I'm getting with another individual. I think they're thinking about that anyway. This is where their thoughts are actually going. They don't feel like they can trust whatever's been around them or maybe their decisions that maybe they feel like they were actually loyal to the wrong people. Interestingly enough, I don't know that this is, a, I feel like the people, whoever I'm talking to here that's having the issues around work and stuff like that, I don't feel like this is family. I feel like it's work. And then we see they're feeling like they're missing out on something that someone else who is broken free here is getting. Someone is trying to see that, trying to work it out. There could definitely be some kind of divination that is going on, too, to try to look into it. Maybe it's just as simple as watching, you know, collective readings. I don't know. But look at that. Extremely fast. So there could be some kind of closure that's actually coming in, too, with this situation. And maybe that's what is going to bring this to light. Okay? Something coming in extremely fast. They could be coming to you extremely fast to talk about this. It can also be losing something. There could be a big loss that happens extremely fast due to this. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like just based on the energy that I'm getting here, I feel like it has to do with, it needs to, it needs to stop. It needs to move on because a lot of times we have to be just pushed out of situations. Okay. That's how spirit works. Okay. We want to get out. We're miserable. We want to change. Spirit will go, the universe is definitely going to line up and support that, right? help us create the change and sometimes it won't feel good but it's necessary it's to get you to actually move on to a different situation i feel like that's what's happening here 
I'm, I'm going to lean on this. I feel like this might be you up here getting some kind of success, recognition. I feel like getting more happiness, happy times in your life, something like that. And you may actually be in both of these scenarios for some of you. I do feel like somebody needs to wrap something up. There's like a push here to wrap something up that has been lingering. I think this is why we're seeing the meteor come in and just kind of destroy things, right? To kind of push that change, that change that is needed to happen, that change that I feel like is going to happen at this point. Somebody here has had an unhealthy attachment, I feel like, to back to, I don't know, to something that has been around them. Maybe it's just habits. It could very well be addictions. It could be to, to terrible friends or trying to be a people pleaser or something like that. I could be talking to a smoker as well. I don't feel like this is vaping. I feel like this is like heavy smoke. Yeah. Whatever this meteor that's coming in extremely fast, I think it's going to make someone feel pretty broken here. Okay, disappointed, heartbroken. Maybe they're already going through it. I could be talking to someone as well. I feel like that works a lot or has put a lot of focus around their work I also I don't know why I want to say you seem to have some some power over someone or maybe they feel that way they're obsessed I mean I feel that they're obsessed they're studying every detail is what I'm getting here yeah trying to figure out maybe what to do next maybe had to figure out some kind of in you know when it comes to you Maybe they wanted to go further with you, or maybe you wanted that, but someone decided to keep it here as no, you know, no strings, or maybe both people were kind of playing that game, but obviously there was so much more going on behind the surface here with this Twin Flames card. Somebody here feels like this could be a sacred union. They no longer want... It's like I no longer need to strive for the things that I was. And I feel like this has, so this kind of makes me feel like someone moved towards the, they threw all their energy into their career and getting ahead. And honestly, I feel like two people could have done that, but I think one person was really prioritizing that. Like, this is where I need to go. This is, I just need to build my money and kind of live my life, but they're not, that hasn't gotten them somewhere. I don't know why. It just hasn't gotten them somewhere. I feel like they haven't even gotten the recognition. Like I've been in the same place for, you know, five, ten years, something like that. I'm not moving the way that I really thought that I would. Yeah. So somebody is getting kind of tired of that. Plus, I think something else is going on, going on that's very nasty and negative seemingly around whatever this. I feel like it's more work around this work environment. But this has put my focus, I feel like my focus is on something that I let go or I didn't pay much attention to and now it's gone. I think somebody here is really hoping to bring something back together again now that they're seeing things very clearly. Like maybe I was not prioritizing correctly. All right, Spirit, what else for the collective, please? I'm hearing hidden agenda for some reason. Yeah, look, pills again, pills, addiction, bad habits, codependence, codependence, um, maybe on others around them, on people's um, opinions in some way, on people pleasing, but also maybe it was on bad habits that they have. We see addiction here. We see addiction up here. Maybe they do have some kind of addiction or did have some kind of addiction. Someone wants you, I feel like, to notice them or to consider them. Yeah, look at that, to consider them. They could be looking at you as this tasty treat in some way. <laughs> okay. Um, very attracted to you for sure. Something you're doing as well, I feel like, I almost said sexy. Okay, so maybe they do feel like it's sexy or I don't know what you're doing, okay? Um but they feel like it's standing out to them. It appeals to them in some way. There's a lot of, I feel like there's definitely some, some respect here. Yeah, somebody wants to heal something. 
okay they feel like a lot of time is actually lapsed in this situation and they want to bring through some kind of apology here and possibly some kind of romantic gesture okay charm you a bit so you got a lot of things going here i think somebody is definitely breaking through it may not even be their full-on decision i feel like something very heavy could be happening to this person or is about to come in okay and really shock them and to be honest with you i also feel like this could be happening with your situation wow okay like a bolt of lightning here right twin flames they could be filling out maybe or feeling the magnitude of this situation with you they didn't understand that before maybe they didn't understand it too because they did have these addictions right these other unhealthy attachments and habits they couldn't see clearly hmm I don't know if you're dealing with a I don't know if you're dealing with a young person or someone who's a bit in it. This just reminds me honestly of someone who might be a bit inexperienced for some reason. Um, you know, we all have to live and learn, right? Once the more experiences we have, usually the better we get, but I almost feel like somebody here does not have or was not um using very good judgment, I feel like in these situations. Somebody's trying to find out, too, I feel like what is going on with a particular person, how they're moving, how something's changing for them. If these other people I was picking up are concerned about this person moving towards this, okay, towards this divine masculine or towards this sacred union, whatever that is, maybe that's why the snooping is actually going on here. Yeah, because this person had some karmic lessons here to learn, and maybe they've been tied into something like that. I think their concern is that they are, that you, yeah, look at this, queen bee, secure, confident, boss, fish, career focused. They're, they're probably concerned that you do not, and I feel, okay, oh, okay, they don't feel like you look at them the same. And that may be true. I don't know. I mean, they don't feel like you look at them the same. You don't see them the same way that you once did. I think you could have adored this person before or shown them a lot of, adoration something like that a lot of attention in some way somebody's ready to take a leap of faith here though right because they want some kind of new beginning here this could be this nine of wands energy here wanting to bring some kind of balance to a situation okay somebody feels very passionate i feel like about you and i think that they're ready to make take some kind of chance okay hmm yeah to transform a situation here there's the marriage card again that's coming out twice i mean i feel like somebody has definitely wanted to push them it doesn't have to be marriage by the way it could definitely be just some kind of proposal we saw proposal come out up here as well charming a romantic proposal it could be to live together it could be to date it could be to be this was no strings attached before it could definitely be to be uh, exclusive or something like that this could be a person that you have blocked or feels blocked from you out of your life in some way they probably also fear that you're going to have some kind of hesitancy when it comes to them you don't feel that this person is so this person is not balanced with you is what i feel they have not been balanced with you in some way i, I gotta be honest with you oh my god i am being i'm getting so much energy over here somebody may want to move in or say let's get a house like right away wow oh i don't that i felt like i was almost being kicked in my stomach that's how much it was pushing on my stomach so maybe i need to tell you to watch that that might be the way it feels to you okay like i just i didn't expect this there's no way i could have seen this we see extremely fast fleeting here we see immediately now hastily second here wanting a second chance in some way this person's leaving some kind of bad atmosphere i feel like in their life where they feel like they can't get ahead you are achieving some kind of success in your own life here <sighs> okay nine of pearls energy this person has been it's been a long time i feel like the way they're moving now might come across a little more purposeful then before here before it could have been more passion driven with a no strings card as well okay they know that they need to apologize um in some way here page of cups energy again four wands 11 11 card this person could definitely feel like you have you guys 
have a very important um, path together, okay? They could even think that there's a twin flame connection here if you believe in those. I do think that they are afraid of a lot of having a lot of competition with you. You could be someone who is highly sought after in some way or they perceive you that way. The one thing that I don't like, I don't feel like this person is completely honest, okay? Or that they're going to be completely honest about something, about the way that something ended or why it ended. Remember the song, I don't know why I run away. Maybe they're terrible about communicating, you know, about our at communicating things as well. Like I knew I was going to break your heart, but I did it anyway because maybe it's something they just wanted. I wanted to get into this, you know. I wanted to be with you, you know. I'm very charmed, I, charmed by you. Interesting. They feel very charmed by you in some way. I don't know why they the ones up here. <laughs> they the ones up here burning candles and stuff, doing all this devilly stuff. So they feel charmed by you though in some way like they have to have your want you in their life i feel like this might have became very overwhelming for someone just too strong so i almost feel a sense of sabotaging something knowing that they were doing it moving it maybe even trying to hurt you to be honest with you as crazy as that sounds because they didn't feel that explains so much they didn't really feel perhaps like they were at your level or like you guys could go, I don't know, something about the match, the two of you matching. I don't know what, I don't know why that would matter. Again, I feel like I'm dealing with somebody who's inexperienced because a, a, I hate to say an adult, but a mature person wouldn't care about that. There's something about that. Yeah, what I get here is that you have someone here that is definitely going, we see marriage here twice, okay? They're afraid you're going to block this. I think they're afraid that you're going to say no, that you're going to even shut the door, to be honest with you, on them. They're stressed. They're losing sleep here as well. The person is very torn. I feel very troubled by this whole situation. They feel like you've gotten away from them in some sense. I think they're very nervous about what's getting ready to happen here. They know that it's got to happen fast and without a lot of thought because they feel like they could talk themselves out of it in a sense because they're, they're so afraid of what the outcome will be. I shouldn't say, yeah, they are. They're afraid. There's fear here, right? There's, there's just nervousness. I could be, whoever I'm talking to is a very strong individual too. So you have your own thoughts. You have your own ways of doing things. I don't think that you're easily swayed and they know this as well. There's also something that you said or something that you do or you say, something like that, that this person feels very conflicted about. I feel almost hurt, honestly. So if you post things or you talk about things like that and they know that where you're like, no, it's just over. I don't care about them. This was a no strings attached situation. That could be part of this. That could be obviously driving some kind of obsession here. It's that FOMO, right? Fear of missing out, you know? So... Um, they didn't want to, they, maybe they didn't want this situation to begin, to begin with, if that's the way this went. And, and I feel like it could have, because they want to heal it, but maybe that's what it was. And now, you know, the attraction is so there, like they said, they're charmed by you in a sense. They don't want to let it slip away, but they don't feel like you, there's something that you're saying. So what is, okay, what does that mean? So what are you saying? Or maybe you've said to them, there's something to do with communication here. I think this person has wanted to give up. I just, I, I think they're just captivated. That's what I'm saying. They're so captured by this whole thing that it seems to me like it's been very difficult to do so. But I also, wow, 10 of cups right here on the bottom. But look where I cut out. Seven of swords. I think this is this is what got in the way of this Ten of Cups. This could have been something that was heading towards something really beautiful. There is a soul connection recognition here. Okay. This person feels to some degree, perhaps you could, you know, perhaps you could prevail at all odds. But look at the seven of swords beside it. Almost like they're deceiving themselves. Right? I put so much energy into this, into wanting this, and I feel like I'm actually deceiving myself here. Maybe this is too good to be true. Maybe this is not attainable in some way. Look, the way this is coming out to me, someone really feels like you're their twin. They feel that way. They feel like they want to have you. 
Um, they're going through their own stuff as well, but that, it doesn't seem, that's just a whole separate thing, I feel like, in someone's life here. There is this going on as well, okay? If they are the, the Divine Masculine, maybe they have worked to get to that level to kick maybe some kind of addictions or something here that maybe got in the way beforehand. If you are this Divine Masculine, then maybe they're just trying to do these things to get back to you as well. But the sad thing, or the, and the, maybe this has to do with, with the addictions and, and the way that they did things. They know, maybe that's what the apology is for here. They could know that they were trying to or causing you some kind of blockages or obstacles. And maybe you have actually said that to them because there's something here about you speaking some kind of harsh truth that they were, I, I don't know, I feel like it just kind of cut things. Like, I don't... I don't see how we could move forward from this is what I'm getting. I mean, it really has them in their head and kind of drowning in their emotions is what I'm getting here. All right, let me see if there might be some hidden messages here, spirit, that you want the collective to know. Yeah, they want to start over. So they definitely want a second chance, which we know. They want to start over. I feel like this person could be coming in to do things. They're going to be taking it slow and with this Knight of Pearls. They're going to be trying to do things very purposefully, okay? They want a more traditional situation with you, not a no-strings-attached situation, if that's what it was before. They're not going to be rushing you, and that could have been kind of what it was before. It just seemed like it was just very passionate and kind of rushed. They don't want that. They want to show you that they are, I think, more anchored in a sense. They do know this is some kind of divine connection here. This is more of a homecoming here in this Four of Wands energy, right? They do. They, I told you, it, I felt like something was kicking the air out of me, so they could want to move in together. That could also tell me some kind of new home or something like that. This person is very afraid that you have or that you are moving on to something else. I think that's why they keep trying to see. And I believe they're getting readings or doing some kind of divination to try and see what you're doing here. Because you're not giving them attention, that's for sure. This person says that they need security as well. I know they need security because I feel like they're walking away or they need to walk away from something here. I think they might be forced to walk away for some reason for some kind of job or something in their life that needs to end. And and these fake friends, I mean the thing about it is you can't stay tied to people like that that are constantly trying to drag you down. And you're staying loyal to them. I don't know why I feel that's around work. That seems like the, this is a bit of closeness at work, but maybe it's a job that requires you to Maybe you just worked close together and you formulate those bonds there because I definitely feel like this could be work-related. They're not seeing the growth that they need with that anyway. They feel like they're being overlooked in a sense. So again, you know, another problem here. They're saying, I won't let you down. Okay, I told you, this person admires you, but they, they worry that you don't feel the same. They say, I know you don't feel the same here. Look at this, but I want you back. Yeah. Somebody here, let me get some of these last cards here before I wrap up. Because somebody here is definitely trying to get, they're learning some hard lessons is what I feel. There may not be any second chances here um, in, in terms of how you feel about the situation. I feel like this person also feels like everything has been against them. Like they wanted to heal. They wanted to get beyond something here. Maybe to present a little better to you. But they are, now they're in their own. A whole secondary kind of conflict. And having to face making some kind of big change in their life. Look. They say I left when I saw you with someone. But I don't necessarily believe that. I feel like they created not another someone. I told you they have fears of intimacy here. Maybe even in your in their head. If they've seen someone talking to you as well. Unless you were with someone. But my... my my intuition is definitely telling me more so that even talking to someone on social media, they don't trust very easily. I feel like that, okay, there's something that they do in life, or maybe this is coming from their background. I feel like this person is pretty closed off in terms of that with their heart chakra. They don't trust a lot of people. Um, and and honestly, now that I'm looking at the, the situation they're in that appears to be around work, maybe it's around family, but I feel like more work. So I think that's probably warranted but I love you unconditionally. 
and I want you, okay? And I know that I crossed the line with you, okay? But understand that I just left before you could leave me, see? They felt like they wouldn't be up to your standards in some way, too. They do regret lying to you, okay? This person said that they hid behind material things, which is interesting because I told you, it's almost like they moved into focusing on their work and their connections there or whatever this is, camaraderie. Maybe they're military because it feels like that camaraderie that you have where these are the only people that I can trust. They, they really believe that you're supposed to be together. This card says we will be together again, okay? So they do believe that. I think this person really, truly believes that you are their twin flame. That's what I'm getting from this. Whether it's true or perceived, I do not know. But they believe that. Okay. And um, they want to start over. And that's just what it is. All right, guys. Let me know if this resonates. I'll see you soon. Have a good night. Bye.